Praise God. So we, this is a healing service. And we are believing God as usual. And I say what I say because in my prayer time, uh, my prayer time, you know, me ask a lot of questions. I'm, I'm asking God why. You know, because sometimes you need to know why. You know? And I say this to just encourage us that, you know, sometimes with me, you no, know, really, I go after him the way we used to go after him. Amen? We get so, you know, we're not hunger again, we're not thirst again. Because there is much, much, much more than we are currently experiencing now. Amen? So, let us just read a scripture reading. And I would ask Sister, um, Sister Camille online. Sister Camille? Could you read 1 Corinthians 12, 1 to 12, please? One second. I didn't have my arm. Okay. One second. I didn't have my arm. I was just listening. Okay, okay. All right. Let me read then. Okay. You read it, yeah? Yeah, I will just read it. Are you, do you want to read it? I was, I was going to, but because you said you were, you were going to read it. Okay, now concerning spiritual gifts. Virgin, I would not have you ignorant. You know that you were Gentile, carried away unto these dumb idols. Wherefore I give unto you to understand. Mm, sorry. He must be well led. Wherefore I give unto you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God called Jesus a curse. And that no man can say Jesus is Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Now there are diversity of gifts but the same Spirit. And there are difference of administration but the same Lord. And there are difference of administration, but the same Lord. I think I repeat that again. And there are diversities of operation, but the same God which work all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom. To another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, the gifts of healing by the same Spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirit. To another, diverse kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. But all these work that one and that self same Spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. For as the body is one and are many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body also in Christ. Praise God. Bless his holy and awesome name. He said to me, after the text being read, that I should take a power break. And I said before, this is my interpretation of a power break. Because we are children of faith and we walk by faith. Father, in the mighty and the awesome name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, you have given gifts unto your children. Your word says, severally as you will, you have given unto them. Father, every gift under the sound of my voice that lie dormant, that lie inactive, let it be quickened in the name of Jesus. Let it be stored in the name of Jesus. 
Father, Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rekindle the fire, ignite that flame within them, that hunger, that desire, that yearning, that thirst for more. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your word said, They who hunger and thirst for righteousness shall be filled. Father, Lord God, begin to unveil their eyes to see. Hallelujah. Your word said you will show things to come. In the name of Jesus, open their ears to hear. Oh, that they will hear heavenly things. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, give them dreams and vision. In the name of Jesus, minister to them, dear God. In the name of Jesus, Father, unleash your holy anointing. And let it locate as many that are under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may you quicken them within their innermost being. In the name of Jesus, you sent the word. The word didn't return void, but it accomplished the purpose wherefore it was sent. Let there be manifestation in the name of Jesus. Let there be performance in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank and we bless you. We praise and we glorify your mighty name that the next time that we meet their God, they will have testimony upon testimony. They will have revelation upon revelation. They will see angels ascending and descending. In the name of Jesus, they will have encounter with the Spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Jesus will appear to them. Hallelujah, my Father, my God. May you do exceedingly abundantly above all the yards I think I can to the power that is at work within me. For your word said you have given gifts and severally as you choose. Father, let that which you have given unto them begin to manifest. Begin to manifest. Begin to manifest in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you and we bless you and we praise and we glorify your mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Opening the floor again for testimony. Anybody have testimony? Glory. Amen. Amen. Okay. And um, I 
I was I told her about the Lord and so she accepted the Lord and she is in his it's we now and so so you know when you give the people the word you have to and visit them also. Amen. And if they send and call you, say I would like to see you, Sister Diane. You have to make time to go there. You Amen. know, it is more than just telling them what God can do, praying with them through the telephone, mm. but you have to make offers also. Amen. And that's Amen. what the Lord used me to do. And you have great pleasures in it. Mm. You know? Yeah. And I something happened to me yesterday that I, I, I want to know it is about my understanding, you know. Um I pray when the when the this year started, I pray for Lord two things. One thing happened already, and then when I started to, to follow this program, mm. then I asked the Lord for um, something better, um, a laptop of or, or um, mm. a, 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 what you call it, um, the other one. Oh I'm not getting on the name. Tablet. Okay. Tablet. But the same girl I went to visit, who was ill, she said, I have a gift for you, that's why I call you. And then she gave me a brand new, not laptop. Tablet. She gave me a brand new... Tablet? Uh, yeah. Yes, tablet. And I thank God that He knows our heart. We pray to Him. And he gives us the desires of our heart according mm. to his will. You know? And we don't ask him for material. We can ask him for material things. But that's not so important to me. Like mm. the soul, you know. Amen. The soul, praying for the lost soul. Praying that God help others. See others are happy. Because when I'm happy, I want to see people. Others happy as I am. Amen. And as the minute I notice I'm someone, I notice someone is sad. Just talking to the person, I see that they, their countenance is changed, they're happy. So, God plays something in us that we can change others. If we live true to Him, if we are obedient to Him, His voice. And I left that place there, that girl was so happy in her heart, with such a big smile on her face. And then all you can say, thank God, thank God, thank God. You know, God is busy with lives. Let us not cease and claim for each other and trust in God for each other. Because he's doing great things. When we pray, he answers. Sometimes it, it seems as though, oh, God is so far from me. Like, I'm not getting no answers, no way. But don't look to people. Keep looking to him. Keep trusting him with your whole heart. He will come true for you. If it's not today, tomorrow, or some other day. But he's always with us to help us in every way in life. And that's why my confidence is 100% in him. Amen. I trust him with Amen. my whole heart. I trust him with my whole life. And I know he's going to do a great something with my family. Amen. Because you can't leave the family out. The family is important because you got to start by your family before you can meet others outside. Amen. And what God has started in me and my family mm. is able to complete it to the end. Amen. Because I want to say, sisters out there, brothers mm. out there, let us trust God more than ever before. Mm. He's able to do exceedingly abundantly above that we can ask or think. We bless everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Any more testimony? Any more testimony? Uh, so, so, um, um, after, um, something that came to me um, the last couple of occasions, uh, you've asked me to pray in tongues, and um, it may seem strange to some, and I was taken aback because I didn't know you were going to call on me. But the last one, and this time around, you know, what came to me is that. Um, somebody, because this is um, being aired um, on YouTube and, and other channels, mm. somebody out there um, will uh, hear, you know, because I know in our, in, when we're in church and when, when we're in our session, you know, we have the interpretation of tongues, but we know that tongues is also, we're speaking unto God, but also it's another language and we have, we've heard about people who've heard people speaking in tongues and they're spoken in their language and the Lord was saying to me, somebody's going to hear 
something from the Lord through the tongue for their setting and you know which is going to either bless them or save their soul in Jesus name Amen, Amen, Amen you know faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God whether it's in your mother tongue or in truth so use you to speak in another dialect to communicate something to someone else please master jesus hallelujah so as we continue on we're going to go into the word for a brief moment we're going to read um Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Sister Colleen. Is Sister Colleen dear? Hallelujah. Yeah. Um, could you bless the name of the Lord with that song? Too much interruptions. Mm -hmm. I, I, I hear me. Okay. Yeah, sister, sister Diane. Um, the, 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 if you can mute the, your mic, mute your mic, mute your mic. Exhortation. Daddy, you want to say something? Daddy, asleep, asleep, Daddy. Okay, blessing, blessing. Have a brief exhortation that we will look at just to encourage ourselves today. Praise Master Jesus. I see the time, time, time. I've gone. But I think I will take a, a, a extra 10 minutes, if you don't mind. Amen. Feet comes by hearing. That's what I will really elaborate on today. That feet come by hearing. And we know the other part of that text is hearing by the word of God. But today, our focus is faith come by hearing. Faith is being released when you hear. That's why as I was saying before, that we need to hear the voice of the Lord. Amen. I will need to see the vision of God. Because we are spiritually connected unto the vine. And because we are connected to the vine, what flows from the vine flows to the branches. Amen? 
So we are expected to hear, to see, to operate and function in the dimension of the miraculous because we serve a miraculous God. Feet come by hearing. Jesus said to Peter, He said, Come. And Peter hear. And him step out. He step out of the boat and begin to walk on water. He did walk on water. So feet come by hearing. So where ear can inspire feet in your heart to take the next step to do even the impossible. Amen? Feet come by hearing. Jesus look and him said to them, him said, Behold, I give unto you power over every sickness and diseases. And then send them and say, Go and preach the kingdom of God and heal the sick. They heard the master and they went and they did just that. And the Bible said they came back and they were rejoicing. And they were saying that even the evil spirit are subjected unto us in your name. Amen. So feet Amen. come by hearing. Cornelius also heard they heard. They heard Peter speaking about Jesus. Communicating the things that he knew in regarding to Jesus. And as he was speaking, the Bible said the Holy Ghost fell upon them. That heard the word. See it. It comes by hearing. You know, not only to preach. But also, he sent them to heal. Read in the scripture that he sent the word. And the word heal them and deliver them from their destruction. We are miles apart geographically in different location. But nevertheless, God still can visit you where you are at. He can locate you where you are at. Because faith come by hearing. You know, say what you hear can make the difference. What you are privileged to hear. Jesus said, Blessed are they that hear and believe. Glory to God. Bless his holy name. I don't think I will read. Any Bible text today because I see time I've far spent. But I'm just saying what I'm saying that feet might be imparted unto your heart today. Amen? Amen. Jesus said to them, He said to them, Go and show. Thyself to the priest. That's what he said to them, you know. He said, go and show thyself to the priest. And as they were on their way going. On their way going. They were healed. That's what the word of God said. And one of them, when he recognized that he were healed, he turned back. To give glory to the Lord. Feet 
home by hearing me if you come to you today may you choose to believe God today may you say in your heart that today is my day may you say today is my day to receive because God delight in blessing. He delight in blessing. And the Bible says, Bless us with our spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. It's there. It's already done. But as a feet come by hearing. That if you will hear and believe it and embrace it and receive it, that the word will come alive in you. Because everything God created, everything God made, it was by the spoken word. Amen. It was by the means of the word. The Bible said they went. And they preach, and they were healing everywhere. Amen. Because they have heard the voice of the master. And because they have heard the voice of the master, and they went in obedience. And as they were doing what they were told to do, then the miracle were taking place. So as I was saying early on, visitation and encounters, it bring revelation and revelation bring exaltation and it bring promotion. So many are saying they want to heal the sick. Many are saying they want to cast out devils. Many are saying that they want to do all these mighty and wonderful things. But first and foremost, faith come by hearing. So you need to hear before you can even reach to that place. Because the Bible says, Oh, do they work miracles among you? Isn't it by the hearing of faith? Oh, did you receive the Spirit? Isn't it by the hearing of faith? Faith comes by hearing. So, what I'm trying to bring to your attention. If you can get the Lord to be speaking, speaking to you, that's all you need. Because His promise is yea and amen. Amen? amen. Just need to get the Lord to begin to speak to you. Because anything the Lord is saying is of great importance. Amen? Faith come by hearing. We see it in the Old Testament. We see it in the New Testament. And we see it even in this present day and age. Because I was on my way going to evangelism. And the Spirit of the Lord said to me, one miracle. Today you can't doubt me, one miracle. I know you may have heard me say this time and time again. But again, I'm saying that faith come by hearing. I heard. Amen. And because I heard what the Spirit said. Even when it takes place, when it happens, even forget that He has spoken in my ears. In regarding to this one miracle. And it was somebody 
that have multiple sclerosis that were instantly healed right before my very eyes. Feet come by hearing. So, I will speak for one more minute just to say, my brothers and sisters, we all need to get in that place that we can hear him speaking to us because that is the protocol to go into the dimension where you can operate and function in the miraculous amen feet come by hearing so if you can get God to begin to speak to you and how to get God to speak to you you know we start off in Christendom we start off full of fire for God and many of us along the way we lost that fire some way along the line but he's saying return back you know, we discover in order to recover because he is there. He hasn't gone nowhere. It's only we have turned aside because we are not in love with him the way we used to be in love with him. Amen. And sometimes we need to take that first step. And what do I mean? The Bible says, draw near to God and he will draw near unto you. And sometimes to draw near unto God. Sometimes it means prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting because we saw the great men and women of all. That's what they did. All of them, all of them, them take time out. They take time out to pray and they take time out to fast. In other words, to seek the face of the Lord. And the Lord didn't disappoint them. Him come and him show up. Faith come by hearing. I pray that this brief exhortation that I've communicated to you today might be a blessing to your soul. And as I said today, it is a healing service. Amen. And I will take another three minutes and pray, if you don't mind. My Facebook friend, those that will watch.